Hello there. Welcome to Fleet Maintenance Demo Series. Today I'm going to show you how to use Fleet Maintenance to patch a CEHA or a Oracle Restart environment and its associated database to a new patch level. Let's start by examining the environment first. Current environment has a grid infrastructure um, running on 1202 with no patches or PSUs and I also have a database running on 1202 um, running on 1202 with no patches or PSUs. We intend to take this environment, um, especially the grid infra environment to 1202 running on PSU1 and the database to 1202 uh, running on PSU1. So we'll accomplish this in three steps. In the first step, let's create a gold image for both grid infrastructure and database using the reference environments. Uh, the reference environment uh, information is available here. Since uh, you know it takes around 20 minutes to create a gold image, I've already run the CLI commands to create these images, but I will show you how those commands look like. For the grid infra, uh, we'll run this command emcli db software maintenance, create software image, input file, and we provide a file that contains the list of um, you know parameters that we would pass to the CLI command. So let's look at the contents of this. As you can see, it provides an image name, and here it also gives you a version name for this image. Um, a, a, an image can have multiple versions, so in this particular case, we are, um, you know, adding PSU1 on top of this. So that's the version name that we're going to use, and we can describe this image uh, in more detail. And what reference environment are we going to use to create this gold image? Um, and then where this image will get stored within software library, we provide a directory structure there. Um, and then the credentials for that host where uh, the reference environment exists. Now that's, you we would do the same thing for uh, the database as well, except the parameters would change as needed. Now, if you want to look at the existing images that already got created, we run this command emcli db software maintenance get images. Let's run that. So this will list us all the existing images that I created for our demo. Um, as you can see, I have um, GI home 1202 gold image like I was talking to earlier about. So this is the image ID that we need to keep in mind um, because that needs to get used uh, subsequently. So this is spread between two lines. So we have to make sure we pick both uh, parts of that image ID. Now, a, since there can be multiple versions in an image, we can actually look at uh, all the versions of a particular gold image. Let's try this command. It will show you all the versions. For this demo purpose, I've already created a single, I've created only a single version of this image. So as you can see for, um, uh, and this is the version ID of that uh, version. If you have multiple versions, you might want to make one of them to be your current version that um, all the subscription uh, databases will consume. So uh, this is a command that you would use to make that particular version current. So you run that, it actually converts this into uh, the current version. Now, that's how you take care of the gold image creation and um, making one of those versions to be current. The next step is to subscribe targets to these images and, um, uh, and move to the next step from there. Uh, how do you subscribe? Uh, you use this command db software maintenance subscribe target provide the name of the target So in our uh, case, we are going to use uh, This is the target name and which is the same one I provided here It's a cluster type because it's grid infra and name of the image ID which we created earlier here using this and we have verified using this here um, And so let me show you I've already run the subscription for you. So let me show you how the subscription looks like uh, EMCLI uh, DB software maintenance get image subscriptions and we provide the image ID. Now, as you can see, this is the one that we subscribed. Um, and as you can see, that's already available here. Um, similarly, uh, I also subscribed the database to the database image ID of Tolono to PSU1. So let me quickly run that for you. So the target that we're looking for is CH121. Say here it is. Uh, I've already subscribed that to this image, which is 
um, basically uh, Teleno 2 running on PC1. The next step is to deploy and um, update our targets to uh, the shadow homes. So let's deploy the CH image to the target host, to this target host um, as a shadow home using the CLI. So EMCLI DB software maintenance perform operation, we give the name for this operation. The purpose is to deploy G GI software. Target list includes the target that we intend to patch today and the type of the target is cluster and we provide the credentials. We also provide an input file that contains a single parameter. So that is the location where the shadow home will reside. So let's, let me show you um, the content of this file. So as you can see here, the new Oracle home list, this is a shadow home, um, is going to reside here. Right? Now, I've already run this uh, deploy for you because it takes around 20 minutes once you submit it. The next step is for us to switch the grid infra environment running here to point to the shadow home that we deployed using this. So let's run this command here. So let's let's go through this first. DB software maintenance perform operation. Purpose is to update the grid infra. Target is uh, exactly our target that we're trying to patch today. The target type is cluster and we provide the credentials. So let's run this command to update our grid infra environment. So it got submitted successfully. So if you want to check how this is running, um, you could use uh, this link that is provided here. Go, uh, go to the browser um, and provide that here to see the status of what's running there. So this is how you actually look at um, how things are progressing. So. Let's look at how to update our database. So let's first deploy the database uh, um, into the shadow home. So the command here is DB software maintenance perform operation and purpose is to deploy DB software. The target list is CH121 um, and the target type is Oracle database, which basically means it's a single instance and we provide the credentials. We also provide again the location where the shadow home gets created. So let's look at um, you know what this parameter says. So we have specified a location for the, um, you know, for the shadow home. This is already done for you again because it takes you know, something between 15 minutes to 20 minutes. So the next step is for us to switch the database that's running um, to the shadow home that has already got the Teleno to be PSU one on it. So how do we do that? We submit this software maintenance perform operation update. SIDB121 um, is the name of the operation that we provided and the purpose is uh, to update the database with the target list and target type equals that and uh, provide some credentials. So let's submit this command. Again, we can use um, this link in the browser to actually check um, how this progresses. So this will complete in about a couple of minutes. Both the updates will um, complete in about a couple of minutes. So that concludes this demo. Thank you.